hello and welcome everybody to another video of replying on the misleading and misinformation that this sheikhs and imam spread today our i'm going to look at uh, the latest video of mufti Menk's sinful divorce and talaq let's start assalamu alaikum Wa Did you know that it is very <coughs> sinful to issue a divorce by saying talaq 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 thrice I don't know, it is very sinful, but why you even give him a permission to do so? Or is sinful for the man or the woman or just sinful for the man, you know? You have to clarify, sinful for whom? It is very sinful. It's the wrong way of doing things. It's not what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You sure it's not the way the Prophet, how the Prophet never divorced or want to divorce? Then what happened between Aisha and Hafsa if... Uh, if Omar didn't get involved, when he said, if uh, if the Prophet order me, I will take my daughter head. Has taught us. I want to explain to you how beautiful Islam is. Yeah. He's going to explain to us how beautiful the Islam is. It is. You guys ready? You're married and you're having problems and you really. Islam tells you to try and involve the elders from both sides to see if. Is it sure that Islam, you know, when you're having a problem, tell you to get the elderly first involved? Is it sure this is the first step you do if you have a problem inside your house? The solution can be found. And Allah says in the Quran, I don't think that's, uh, you jumped a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of orders from Allah and his messenger to, to get to your point. I have the verse here is Surat An-Nisa 4, 34. We read from, from here. In yurida islahan yuwafiqillahu baynahuma. But this is, uh, this is not even a verse, half a verse, you know, I don't think it's, if you are a respectful imam and sheikh, sheikhs and imams, they don't quote to, to, to pieces and, you know, they have to, you have to quote all the Quran. And Quran says, Allah says that and as well said this is just to involve in this matter he starts by the fact he said uh, the men are more privileged than the woman why because Allah uh, favored the man on the woman why because they are who spend money or their husband and he say for uh, problem of uh, uh, talaq التي تخافون نشوزهن فعضوهن وهجروهن في المداجع وضربوهن So he give you here three steps Problem occur in your house because of a nushu's wife The wife that uh, disobey you and they don't want to follow your order They, want to, they don't want to sleep with you or they don't care about you or Any problem like this If you see this uh, irad, this, uh, this woman running from you, don't want to speak with you فَعِذُوهُمْ Speak with him, told them that Allah give you an right to his wife and they even there is a hadith with this uh, verse i think it's right here it said here if i want to order the prophet said if i want to order any man you know any any person to do sajda sajda is when you get down in the floor and you put your forehead in the floor and then i will order a woman to do the sajda to her husband Li'idami because her greatness is right to her. This is Rawahu al Bukhari. Bukhari, who is this, this one, and this, uh, this second, uh, another, uh, same meaning but in different one who, uh, who narrated this one is in Sahih Muslim. And then the second step is them don't sleep with them in the beds. Then the third step come in was ribohun. I ida lam yarta'da. If they are not bil mawida with the talk, if they not uh, get back with the talk, or when you lift them, then adribohum ghayra mubarrah. Beat them a bit without a mark. That's all what they say. Yeah. 
So you jumped, uh, jumped even this one. Here, you still go and you're not going to get the uh, elderly. You just have to bring one from your family and one from the wife family, probably her father another one from uh, like uh, his uh, brother you know brother of the husband and uh, all they have to be hakam hakam they have to be man not be a woman another woman he have to be another man he gonna decide the matter so you jumped uh, mr monk all the steps you just straight away to you scared to say something just say it if both parties would like to solve the problem, then Allah will grant them that. Allah will grant them acceptance to be able to find a solution. So if it's not a blame game, and if you're not trying to prove who was right and wrong, and both of the parties are genuinely looking to solve the matter, Allah says... Yeah, because all the thing is the marriage, the isma is in the hand of, uh, of the man. I don't know what you're talking about. Only the man who have access to the talaq and have access to bring his wife back. You know? I, I don't, and he have access to four wives and have access to unlimited amount of slaves. This is in the Islam. This is in the books. You know? Why people Muslim today shame to say this one clearly in the public? You ha he have access to the four wives. At least we know this one. And the people doesn't know he have access to... To the, to the slaves as well. وَمَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُكُمْ وَتَزَوَّجُوا مَثْنَا وَثُلَاتَ وَرُبَاعَ وَمَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُكُمْ We'll help you both. But in the rare case where, subhanAllah, the parties cannot get along, they really want to separate part ways, it is part of the mercy of Allah that we can divorce. It's part of the mercy of Allah that you can divorce. What Allah have to do with the people life, with people matter? Is Allah going to enjoy people suffering? Is this uh, sadist to this uh, to this degree just to allow them to divorce and to everybody see the people suffering just just to enjoy it or what? What's the point? Allah, you know, just doing this. Imagine if divorce was not prescribed in Islam. That's it. You were doomed. No, I don't have to be doomed. We left Islam because of this CP laws that get involved in your clothes, in your wife, in your children, in your life, in your toilet, and everywhere go inside you. In any matter you go, it go with you. He was you didn't want to be with. I mean, part of the mercy of Allah is to is it part of the mercy of Allah who to leave us alone. He said, He doesn't need, he say by himself in the Quran, he doesn't need anybody. You know, he said he doesn't need anybody. Why he have to be merciful if he doesn't need anybody? Why he should care anyway? People divorcing or people getting together. Allow you and I to go through divorce if needed and necessary because we just how he allowing you you know why he even have to allow you what's his problem with us you know to allow us you know man so allah says you know what you issue one out of three talaqs that's it who to allah tell who tell the man tell people like you to issue one talaq and if you have another two for husband you go you doesn't you know you're not gonna give a fuck about uh, about the house you're going to divorce because you have other option you know they're waiting for you you're not going to give any you know shit about it well, listen if you have a weapon and somebody with you going in the desert and you have on the weapon and another guy doesn't own the weapon it doesn't mean Mean the guy going with you it doesn't mean be protection from you it just maybe he going with you with you because he's scared from you because you have weapon he doesn't have so as same as the god they do you come into this life yeah to both of you you want to see this life and he give your husband a gun and he doesn't give you nothing and he tell you will go the husband are going to protect you how you make this you uh, marginalize one does everybody have to be a good person no it's not everybody have to be a good person people as uh, 50 50 sometimes the husband who he's wrong you know what has what the, the the wife have to do in this matter if you give the every every right to the husband that's it 
You never ever give more than one. It's just one. And what do I do? Allah says, well, when you've issued the one, we allow you a separation period of three menstrual cycles. You say, yeah, you allowed, Allah said, we allow you a three menstrual cycle or three month or, uh, or depend on how much the fuqaha, you know, judge it. But the husband in this period, he allowed to sleep with his women consider a zina it doesn't consider a rape because this we don't have rape inside the, the islam so as uh, when he get if he force her or get to sleep with her with this uh, three month they say to get divorced uh, it depends which madhab you are following uh, some madhab i think Malik is said is not forcible to to be back she can't even if you sleep with her and she still can uh, proceed for uh, for divorce and the rest one i think hanbali hanafi those middle eastern uh, madahib all they say even you force her you sleep with her you straight away she have to accept to get back with you because uh, you have uh, like, like divorce does not going to finish until you sleep with her she had to finish another three months yeah, uh, three uh, period then means she have to get married again so that's why the the act uh, again if the husband uh, no do the intercourse with his wife even she doesn't you know want it to separate and during that time that one revocable alak or divorce would actually be held in a way that Allah is only going to held Allah have nothing to do with this one it's only going to be held if the husband want to give uh, bring back his wife otherwise he's not going to the husband he don't want you back there is no way you know even you want him this you no know, way this uh, this marriage going to go going in the you know one way it's not going in two way direction is giving you a chance to reconcile within the three menstrual cycles if for example you feel no we need to get back we need to try and so on uh, you're allowed to get back within that time no strings attached no nothing you can you can solve the matter and come back and then at some point later in the future if you still didn't get along and you want to go back to uh, your own ways and separate Allah says we'll allow you to do it a second time yeah so why they have to be a second time a second time always the husband so what, what about if uh, Allah give, uh, give for example, three, three permission to divorce, but give the first one to the husband? So you tell you, the first one is for you. So if you divorce your wife and you bring her back, then it will be in the hand of the, the wife so they're going to divorce you. And you going to be like you accept the, the divorce anytime she tame it then if she divorce you and uh, she coming back with you then you're gonna give him back his right again that's i see is the best way to make it like coming from god but to give a three time to the to the husband right to, to divorce his wife in the time he wants and you say this is the best in the world there is uh, something laughable so i got back months or years I decided now nah, we still cannot get along so Allah says no problem you so can... who can I decide now nah, we're not gonna get along if the, his wife have nobody else in the heart doesn't know and doesn't have family have nobody else she just relying on him and he get divorce her and she accept to come back him and three time and still problem where is here it's only the problem coming from the man you know the woman doesn't want even to get divorced divorce her three times let's say if you divorce a wife three times none of this three time her fault you know none of this three time her fault she don't want to be divorced but you keep divorcing her none of this let's say none of this half work let's see what's the solution going to bring here give the second talaq too so the second one comes only after you've tried only after you've gotten back after the first one and reconciled and then you didn't get along and then the second one comes in play look at how merciful allah is what Allah have to do with this? Merciful because uh, the husband want to bring her back. There's nothing here. Allah have to do, have nothing to do with his mercy here. Allah says, we'll give you another three menstrual cycles to consider. If you get back, alhamdulillah, it's a good thing. But the third time this happens, then you need to marry someone else. Who's going to marry someone else? Because, as I said, the husband divorced her three times. He punished her three times you punish her the first time divorce her 
left her for three months let's say this this husband at least let don't say we don't he don't have slaves let's say that he have four wives let's say even he have just two wives let's for example he have two wives and she's uh, she's orphan have nobody to care about her so he was a first time punish her with the, with three months he doesn't sleep with her and for for one year and he have another wife sleeping with her and then bring her again and bring her again and punish her again and he's never going to lose his access to the sex but she going to you know suffer and punish her again a third time and then again she had to go marry another one to come back for him how how is possible that what's the reason yeah what's the reason the woman specifically going to marry another one you know why the man doesn't have to go to marry another one you know why the woman has to marry another one is this not a swinger uh, or it they didn't use it before as a swinger because i heard in the book uh, sahaba and uh, companion there is too many divorces down there something was going was going on down there <laughs> i will look after it when i get time Allah says, if it's the third time, then we now don't want you to keep doing the same thing and getting back and going back. Yeah, what about the husband? That is the punishment of the husband. I don't see any punishment. I see just from three minutes now, you're punishing the wife, you're punishing the wife, you're punishing the woman. You know, you keep punishing the women for something that's 50-50, uh, maybe half fault, maybe another one fault. Let's say, uh, we told you, let's say if a man falls you keep punishing the women getting back and reconciling and splitting and reconciling and splitting you only allowed to do that twice the third time you must go your own ways and you must get married to someone else when the wife marries someone else and she realizes perhaps this guy is such a yeah why is she going to realize they always want to tell you that the woman is fault he didn't realize you know if he's mistake you know i don't understand how to this god think about uh, the woman is like uh, well, even quran what you think about the woman is uh, when you tell you i think uh, the verse of abolition if you go look for the verse of abolition he said if you touch the the woman and if you have if you go to the toilet or do you know do your thing so so here he put the woman next to the <laughs> to the shit he put it and there is another uh, hadith uh, rasul said if you pray in three time break three things break your prayer the the black dog the the woman and the donkey the three thing and uh, Aisha when she when she heard you know this one she call she go to the Rasul and tell him oh the prophet you make us like like animals now and the prophet when she told him that the prophet remember her of the verse the, the, the shahada he told her as the witness of uh, the woman is half a man she said yes and she said this is why he she is not, uh, not like a man guy alhamdulillah she's happy in the new marriage so be it we're happy too but if she's not and she gets a divorce from that guy without the interference of the first husband in that case allah says now because we know you've seen well the the, the weird thing about uh, uh, divorce because you my you divorce somebody with three she have to the woman have to get intercourse with the, the second husband physically even even you divorce like let's say you divorce a woman for 20 years and she never sleep with anybody she still have to marry somebody and sleep with him physically to get back with you you know she have to sleep with him physically to get back with you and i know too many people are forced to do that and they bring somebody we call them in arabic taste somebody who come in and married your wife just to make it uh, permissible for you to marry because of this uh, stupid law that uh, if you said to your wife you divorce by mouth is uh, is the same you know you have to go to the through the the divorce you don't have to change your mind that's it it's done it's done by mouth this is just 
this is child, this and and have have no basis in reality. You know, you get angry. You said, what have to do with talk with divorce? With divorce, you go into the court and and you make it think your divorce is a process. Maybe three four months. You thinking about divorce between you have a problem, and then you go into the divorce. No, like you said it by mouth. Well, that's it. Don't divorce. In a scenario worse than what we will give you the chance to go back. Yeah, you give them the chance because you make a problem for them to get divorced. If you just take this uh, mouth divorcing, I mean, people cannot just say something. If the people say you you are talik, doesn't mean nothing. You have to go and through the divorce. Then the marriage, uh, the divorce goes through. Yes, then we can we can say. We can say yes, if you divorce you three times, maybe it's because uh, you go to the divorce. But now you're forcing people to divorce just because they, they was angry fighting and he said you are Talak Bittalat. That's it. You want to punish him because he says something. To the first husband and you can start afresh. So you get a new nikah done, a new officiation of a marriage and you're all set to go. And now you'll appreciate, you know, this husband originally the first one. They always remember your sisters yeah, that you appreciate, but they, they, you never heard that. Uh, you never heard any scholar going to say the man having to appreciate the, the woman he left her. No, they always the woman have to appreciate, pray for her husband and pray for God and obey, uh, obey everything her husband say to her. He had ten things wrong with him, but. Yeah. It, uh, he have ten things he, wrong about him, but the first one is always have to be the perfect one. Second one had twenty things wrong with him. Or oh, I'd rather go back to the first guy. So it makes sense. So you don't. Yeah, it makes sense that the woman have to intercourse physically with somebody to get back in the first one and the husband you know he's uh, who making all this problem he just going to he have uh, right to marry anybody without any you know can bring to one tomorrow today go in the divorce no problem but the woman have all this obstacle in front of her you know yes it's clear anyway. Use up all your issues, feet, the locks, all at once. You don't do yeah, that. Yeah, so I told this one people like you, the man's like you, don't tell to somebody, don't issue. Because if I want to divorce my wife, I couldn't stay here in my room till tell her all day long, anti talik, anti talik, anti talik. And that one doesn't matter because I'm not going to divorce her because even I say it, it doesn't matter nothing. The word doesn't count nothing, you know, the actions. Was count sinful there is a way of doing things in islam you must be respectful yeah, sinful so you can feel guilty and you take your money and go to give them to saudi arabia because they need more money you know to go to around a stone like a, like a crazy man and don't just issue it up don't just issue it at any time it's a issue it yeah remember you have a card a yellow card and you have a second yellow card let's call it a orange and you have a red card be careful when you give a red card then the problem in the islam he is the first that i can give him you know give him like uh, like a reward he's the first one who make the Kawaii rule of the football, the, the red card. That's he's the first one who make this rule. That you have the red card, you can give the yellow card, and you can give the second yellow card. Then you give the third yellow card is uh, is the red one, or you can give a red card straight away by saying you are divorced by three, and uh, the red card goes straight away. You know, red. Major thing. Think about it. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Say for example, one talaq was given, we did not reconcile, we went our own ways. What do I do? Well, I'm allowed to, as a woman, a woman is allowed once after that. Yeah, the, uh, like the woman, uh, the man doesn't have to. Uh, <laughs> they, they, they say like uh, he have, they have give you Allah give you something special. Uh, the woman have to marry somebody else. Does the man? He doesn't have. You know, does man not allowed to do this one? Oh yeah, you have this one because the man have not. What are you talking about? The man already maybe have already four wife who have like. Uh, like, like have dozens of uh, of slaves girls going around him who care he gonna care about uh, the woman that time though there was just one talaq the fact that the 
the waiting period or the three menstrual cycles are over, or if it was an irrevocable talaq, once that waiting... Uh, the, we, we don't have to, to know, to because we say that uh, the, the slave girl and uh, the woman in the Islam, we, do, we don't have like to say this is all, oh, this is gone, it's okay, you know, it's okay, it's never, why, it's, why, what's the problem with it? Yes, it's a big problem because they have in the Quran, you know, even if they, we don't have slave girl, you know, today, right, they have in the Quran, you have order. Let's say after a thousand years, after two thousand years from here, Dawlat Khilafah come in, right, you see going to slay, see people uh, selling in the market, and see slave girls, and you see Muslim, everybody going with four wives, Six wife, <laughs> four women, six women, ten women. There are, uh, this is the danger. We don't, we don't, I don't care about what the Prophet do in the uh, in Sabaya Autas when uh, when uh, when Jibril come in straight away with the order that uh, you can uh, have sex with the slave girl even if she married you know, even uh, because Sahaba didn't want to do that because uh, it's like you say for today I come into to a city with uh, the city i know people there i know this guy i know that guy and i attack one uh, one uh, corner of that city and i take woman from this one maybe that woman is my friend uh, woman but i the quran come and tell me you are allowed to to have sex with this woman you know see how creepy but this one is in the Quran. Nobody coming to tell me that this this is a haram or makruh or anything. This is a halal permitted thing in the Quran. And uh, if you want to make it haram, you have to take the verse out from the Quran. Otherwise, anytime anybody crazy want to come and make this thing happen, he gonna uh, he have verses in the Quran. He have. Uh, a lot of hadith, uh, no narration, authentic narration about the slaves. You know, he have every proof to to say this is from God. So so be it. In period of three menstrual cycles is over. She can marry anyone she wants, including the original first husband, because there was a lot. So you never ever need a second or a third. If you have one, and it was irrevocable, or the idda, the waiting period finished, it's over. It's over. You don't ever need a second or a third. That's it. It's done. Because you can marry whoever you want if you wish. No longer the wife of that first person. Yeah. But you can go back to him if you want because there was only one talaq. So do you see why we should never be issuing two? Yeah, that's, oh. that's uh, the problem. Always that the woman, she have to be careful. The man, he doesn't have to be careful. He can issue a talaq and uh, like he, nobody going to tell him this is wrong or three we should never just be giving three all at once the second one is a yeah well, this one to people like you not the women's because they have nothing to do with talaq you know the asma is in the hand of husband so the women have nothing to do with talaq you know they they, they never can issue the talaq and they never go to break the family so everything in the in the hand of the men it's only when you reconcile and you cannot uh, make the marriage work for the second time then you give the second one and if you came back after the second one whether it was uh, uh, you know after the waiting period you had your new reconciliation or nikah done or it was within that waiting period you just got back together because it was revocable either way the second time you try and make it work if it didn't work a second time like i said that's when you issue the third one so i hope i've educated you guys uh, regarding this, it's a very yeah. You educate them, and uh, but you picking and choosing, and you jump too many, you know, jump too many hadith. You jump too many, too many verses in the Quran. That's uh, you choose and picking. This is this is not Islam. What you say? This is not a talaq. That's talaq different than Islam. Very beautiful way of divorce. To be honest, it's not a beautiful way to be divorced. It's a beautiful way for the husband. It's a very beautiful for the way for the man to be divorced and to marry again as much as money he have. That's all. It's the best teachings on earth regarding this. Yeah, it's the best teaching on the earth that give the man the full right to divorce and full right to marry for.
But even four, there is a discussion about this four because uh, mathna, he doesn't say wahidatan wa wa There is mathna twice, two, thulat is three, waruba is four, it's nine here. Because the Prophet married nine, to make us understand that it's only, only four. No, Prophet married nine and the verse meaning is nine. So, and plus the wama malakat aymanukum. Before I end, my beloved sisters, if you're in a marriage where your husband is not fulfilling your rights, he's oppressing you or he has abused you and you really want to get out of that marriage and, uh, you know, don't think that he is the only guy who can issue the divorce. No, you can actually apply for a nullification to an Islamic court or to a panel of scholars. Yeah, but this one is, uh, or Nasr, or what he's talking about, this one is have only in condition. I read about it in the... In the fiqh, in the fiqh, this one is no, it's not like like he said. This one, if your husband go for a travel for a long time and he didn't come to you, now you can apply for uh, fasq, you know, nullification. You take the order. If your husband leave you for a long time, you know, he doesn't care about you, he don't give you money, like for more than one year or some, something like a, a very, you know, bigger period, then you can apply. Or if, if he beat you, but be, beat you very badly, you know, if the scholar panel see that this beating going to, to end in a, in something bad, then they can divorce you. There is a specification. They don't just on the panel scholar. They going to be all men. They not going to be women. So they never going to feel if you have like a, a problem, you know, not a physical problem with the, with the husband. The scholar they don't go to understand your problem well, and you never going to issue your divorce. The mufti, etc. They will study the matter. They will see if, you know, it is to be awarded. If really there's something wrong, then this is if really there is something wrong. You know, you have to be something wrong that shows you can you can be divorced. You can't just be divorced now without nothing. You have to be something. And he say here to be something. But uh, I read the fiqh. I'm really in all my life being Muslim. I know exactly how the divorce go in the Islam world and you know, with the with the fiqh. You know, it's not like this. He say they have to be a very serious problem to to get you divorced. And even I know some women even have a big problem, but still have problem to divorce. Take a long time. This one in the court. Try to look into the matter, and uh, they will award you what is known as a nullification or a fasq of that particular marriage. So you're no longer the wife. Whether the man wanted it or not is irrelevant because yeah, that's only I said only in a condition. They don't say you no. Know, they are conditioned to this fasq. They just you can't just uh, a woman go and said that's it I don't wanna for example you're not happy with him you you feel like he's sleeping with somebody else or he for example he married somebody else and you don't wanna the wife and you want to divorce no you can't divorce just like this you have to be have another reason if the husband he doesn't love you Matalan, for example but he is treating you well you can't divorce him you know if you want to just divorce him you don't wanna be with him you just don't like him, you can't just divorce him. You need a permission, and this permission they don't go to grant you because, because the panel there are all men. If he didn't fulfill your rights, he didn't give you mahar. He doesn't. He's not intimate, or he really abuses you. How is give you mahar? The mahar is was bef the before the marriage. What you what are you talking about, Mister uh, Sheikh? Something serious has gone wrong. Then you are allowed. To there are something serious. If he b broke your back, if you broke your face, or if you broke your legs, that is something serious. That's exactly the serious that Fuqah has say to get you divorced. Get that. So you can apply for a nullification. That's not. Yeah. Good. When you your life get broke, you know, and your face get broke, then you can go and apply for nullification. It's called a nullification. Yeah, al-khula. You're gonna come up with the khula. I know, I know the khula. And what is a khula? Yeah. Let's see what is the khula. You don't really have a reason to, to yeah. get away, but you, you don't want to be in the marriage. So how are you going to, to she divorce if she have no reason for divorce? Right? Uh, right. As a woman. Yeah. And you just want to get out of it. He hasn't really done anything bad to you. Yeah, he doesn't see that. He does, you just want to get divorced from him. So what's the reason? Wrong to you. You want to get out of it. And you you can actually give back your mahar. The mahar. Uh -huh. 
Did the fuqaha said give back to your mahr? Are you sure? Or meaning the amount he paid as a gift initially for you. No, why are you lying, Mr. Sheikh? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? The shurat, the condition of the khala' I hear kho, kha, la, a is five condition. Yeah, the first money. Yeah, you give money for for the talaq. There is no. I read all of this from the from from all of it. There is nothing called mahr here. The mahr is have nothing to do with khula. The mother to here, you do your husband tell you to give him amount of money to divorce you. The husband who make this amount, if he tell you you give me twenty four twenty five thousand, you have to give them twenty five thousand to divorce you. Otherwise, this my uh, is have nothing to do with mahr. I don't know where he bring this uh, this uh, mahr from. When you got married, you can give that back uh, if he agrees. Uh, my friend, there is no mahr here. You know, if you come to the fiqh, the book of the juristic and the four, four uh, fuqa, four arba, uh, Hanbal, Malik, uh, Hanafi, and the, the, the third one, all, or the fourth one, all of them, all of them, there's nothing here. They're talking about uh, the mahr. I don't know where you bring this mahr from, but here they're talking about Mulzam al Awan. She have to give money for him. Yashtari Mulzam al Awan. The condition to give money, money to the, the husband, you know, to give him money. And if she's young, they, she's have no right to get a divorce until she get old. If she married at six or or any but married in Islam can be at six months old, you can do acts without uh, intercourse. But she have no right to fasq. She have no right to break this marriage. You know until she get old. All here the talking. There is nothing here to show the mahar. I don't know where you bring this mahar from. Please to take it back in return. In return for issuing a talaq, so yeah, but that's not uh, that's not uh, no, that's not in the book. That is a khula. For a khula, you still need your husband's approval, but for a nullification, you don't need his approval. I hope I've educated you on that too. Perhaps yeah, you educate, you miseducate them in that too. Thank you guys for watching, and see you again.